Okay, let's try finding factors from a cubic function this time. Right, so you may have noticed that if I have a function like x squared plus 3x plus 2, and I factorize this, I get x plus 2, x plus 1. And if I want to find the roots, I'll make this equal to 0. The null factor law says the left product is, product is equal to 0, or the right product is equal to 0, or both of them. And so we get x is equal to negative 2, or negative 1. And you'll notice that the roots are very much connected to this final term right there. Okay? And we can use this to help us find factors for this cubic function, in fact, all polynomials. So let's have a look at the constant 12. And the factors of 12 are 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. And this might be, and this sincerely narrows down um, our range of roots to try and test for. Okay, so our factors could be the positive or negative of any of those. I'm just going to start with 1 and see what happens. 1 cubed, take away 1 squared, take away 8 times 1, plus 12, comes out to be 1 take away 1, they cancel. Negative 8 plus 12 comes out to be positive 4. Okay, so it seems like my answer was a little overly positive. I want to find a way to make my answer closer to zero uh, by increasing the negativity of this value. So I could try a negative term, like, let's try a negative one. And we get negative one cubed, take away negative 1 squared, take away 8 times negative 1, plus 12, which comes out to be negative 1, take away 1, take away, sorry, plus 8, plus 12, and we get negative 2 plus 8 is 6, 6 plus 12 is 18. And, oh look, it actually had the reverse effect, the opposite effect, okay, it went overly positive. Okay, so perhaps going to a negative one was, wasn't the right choice. Um, let's make a better educated guess. Stick to the positives, but this time let's try a positive two. Two cubed, take away two squared, take away eight times two, plus 12, is equal to eight take away four, take away 16 plus 12. Eight take away four is four. Four take away 16 is negative 12 plus 12. And that comes out to be 0. We can say, therefore, x minus 2, remember it's the opposite of that value, x minus 2 is a factor. And that's the factor theorem. So once we have found one factor, or one root, the next will fall over like dominoes using synthetic division. And that's coming up next.